I'm Reverend Lisa Day, and I serve as Director of Ministries at St. Stephen Church, but this is something new. You know, our new theme is a new day, it's a new way, and we want you to be connected, and we want you to be connected in ministry. So we're now offering these ministry moments for you so that you can see what St. Stephen has to offer and you yourself can be involved. Let me say that. One of the things that helps you to be a part of your church is being involved. And we're going to show you and share with you how. So today, I'm going to have a ministry moment with Sister Carolyn Collins. Now, Sister Carolyn Collins, she gives leadership to our grief ministry, which is a very, very much needed ministry. And uh, I'd like for her to share a little bit about the grief ministry. Welcome, Carolyn. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate this opportunity. And it's a great opportunity to share with you about the grief ministry, because we as a culture, we have learned through the years just to grin and bear it and not reach out to get the help that we need. Okay, um, <laughs> okay I mean, and that's really important to say. So tell me a little bit about the mission or the purpose of the grief ministry. The purpose of the grief ministry is to supply a ministry where you have like mind people, people that have went through some of the things you have went through. So when they talk to you, they're talking from their heart. They're talking from their own experiences. And this is an opportunity for you to bear it all. And they in turn can tell you their experiences and tell you can uh, share survival. Uh, techniques and t uh, tips. But the most important thing is to know that you're not alone, that the grief ministry is here for you, but also to build your relationship with God, because God is the one that said he will never leave you nor forsake you. And many times when you get caught up in grief, you forget that and you think you're all alone. So by the grief ministry itself, one, you have a partner to be with you, through the process, and two, you have a reminder that God has never left you. He, he will never, never forget about you. And that's good to know. And you yourself, um, you're a part of this ministry, or give leadership to, the, to this ministry because you yourself have had a deep grief. So tell us how you personally got involved with the grief ministry. My husband unexpectedly passed away and in fact, it was so quick. Um, I had, we were getting ready to take him to the hospital for his broken ankle. And I left out of the room for a split second, came back, and he was gone. Mm -hmm. And he had never been sick a day in his life. So uh, at that point, uh, I went into a suicidal depression because all I thought of myself was a wife and mother. And so when he passed away, those items were gone and I was lost and I didn't know how to handle it. Mm -hmm. And so I went into a suicide depression, more or less, you know, take me to, I'm ready to go to, uh, mm -hmm. we had been married 42 years and we were high school sweethearts. So we got married right after high school. So my whole world crashed mm -hmm. and I didn't know how to get out of that suicidal depression. And my friend Vanta, uh, she called me and she asked me, what was I doing? And I said, nope. I'm not doing nothing just to get out of here. And she recognized the shape I was in and she came over and physically got me out of the house. And we went to St. Stephen's grief ministry. Mm -hmm. And there I found a lot of different people hurting and in pain from the loss of her, their loved ones. Mm -hmm. And what really got me was this little old lady. She was a lot older lady said that she lost her husband, uh, the love of her life, and now she doesn't know what to do. And it was like, she's like me. And now oh, I'm yeah. up and it's like, okay, maybe this can help me. Now, and I really, I really love that story. And the reason I'm telling you why is because the scripture tells us to do exactly what Vanta did. Vanta lost her husband and she know how it felt. And mm -hmm. when your husband passed away, she came to share her experience with you. And the scripture tells us to comfort those with the same comforted wherewith we've been comforted. So because she mm -hmm. came to get you and then you decided you're going to go get others. Right. Yeah. Right. That's beautiful. Right. Yeah. Cause it helped me so much. Cause I was in real trouble 
And I never heard of a grief ministry or workshop or nothing. I just felt all alone mm -hmm. and finding that. And I thought it was so valuable. Plus it added purpose mm -hmm. to my husband's passing. So now I have a purpose and I could focus on this purpose and that's to bring it down in the West End area and to give it to other people because I didn't know of anything else at that time in, in the area. And I just wanted to help others like I was helped. Well, that is so beautiful because uh, that that begs me to ask the question. So who can participate in the grief ministry? Is that just for St. Stephen members or who? Uh, anyone can participate. It doesn't matter what church you belong to or if you don't belong to a church. It doesn't matter what religion or non-religion. It's about helping you through your grief and in helping you through that grief, you will not only find others that you can identify with, they can help you and tell you things and to help you get uh, to a better healing place. But also you will learn in developing the relationship with God. Like my relationship with God is so strong now, but it's because of the death of my husband where I reached out more to God. And now he's like my best friend. I talk to him all the time about everything. <laughs> and he really <laughs> loves that God loves us when, when we, he, when we can tell him how we feel, whether that's up or whether that's down, it doesn't matter. But what's beautiful about the grief ministry is that it opens the doors for others who feel like they may be all alone and that, that nobody understands. It opens the doors for you to come together and have conversation. Now, the grief ministry meets um, every third Tuesday of the month via Zoom, correct? Correct. At six o'clock um, every third Tuesday. And uh, on the grief ministry, I have an assistant uh, leader. I have a prayer partner uh, from the prayer ministry. And we come together and our sole purpose is to help you through this grief process, through the stages of grief, to let you know you're not alone, you're not by yourself, you're not the only person that has gone through this grief process. And that is the sole purpose of it. And along the way, you will develop your relationship with God and you will find out he has never left you. He has always been there with you. Thank you so much, Carolyn, for all of this knowledge. And thank you for introducing the grief ministry to so many. And I want you to know out there, those of you who are listening, if you are grieving or if you have a loved one who's grieving, we're going to put some information on the screen that will help you to connect with the grief ministry of St. Stephen Church so that you too might be involved. Now, this has been a great ministry moment. And we've talked with Sister Carolyn Collins, who gives leadership to the grief ministry of St. Stephen Church. Thank you for being with us. And we want you to come back again for our next ministry moment. <music>